Hi people, it is Chase here, and I am unboxing the Doctor Who Reign of Terror um, DVD box, DVD uh, set. It is the entire uh, six episodes, I believe, um, and two of the episodes, episodes four and five, I think, are completely restored with animation. You see, um, the BBC in the 70s, they didn't think that Doctor Who... Or, and a bunch of other shows, they didn't think that they needed to keep the original films or the videotapes of uh, Doctor Who. So uh, they uh, they started uh, junking uh, all the um, original film that Doctor Who um, that many of the uh, first three Doctor's stories for Doctor Who, um, were on, and now there are still 106 episodes, um, missing, or maybe it was 104, no, 106, um, most, uh, of them survive, though, through, uh, fan recordings for audio of the episodes made off air, and they were, um, returned to BBC. Um, so they have all the episodes in that form, but, uh, they don't have the chunk, a large chunk of them in, uh, film form. So if you have a copy of any of the Missing Doctor Who episodes, please give them back to the BBC. They need them very bad. They need them. But for this, uh, serial, they couldn't wait, so they decided to restore the, uh, missing two episodes with animation. They first did this with the Peter Trotton, no, Patrick Trotton. The Patrick Trotton, uh, series, or serial, The Invasion, which I believe was the same length of episodes, maybe, maybe only like five episodes. They restored two episodes with animation with, uh, by the team who did the Scream of Shock, uh, uh non-canyon Doctor Who web series episodes. They had them animate them, uh, for them. And I believe it's the same, it might be the same company, I'm not exactly sure though, I don't think it is. And, uh, but they updated the, uh, animation a lot since 2006 when they released The Invasion. I've seen, uh, previews on YouTube for scenes in the two, uh, the, in the two animated episodes for the serial. And I can't wait to see them. So, yeah. Um, and I'll give you guys a review on the animated episodes for this as soon as I watch them, or after I watch them, because I have this, it's only like 25 minutes almost per episode, so, yeah, it should, should only take me like, uh, an hour or two? No. No, six, so three hours to watch the whole thing, give or take, two and a half hours maybe, I'm not sure. So, yeah, um, and this is, uh, I was gonna get back to the original point, um, I was gonna start with, um, this, um, the packaging for this, since I live in America, um, obviously, uh, is way different than the UK, um, release, uh, DVD case, cause, one, in America we have these recycled piece of crap, um, DVD, um, cases, and they're really, really flimsy and not that, not that hard. They can break really easily if you put enough of force on them, um, or if you accidentally step on them, so they're not that good, but, you know, it's what we get for living in America, and what we need, and what we get for needing to recycle, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, on the front here, I believe this, most of this, um, serial takes place during the revolutionary, no, the French Revolution, something like that, and, um, so the Doctor is in a, a seven, late 1700s style, um, French Revolution outfit, there's the TARDIS right there, William Hartnell's Doctor, a uh, guillotine, and, uh, I think his companions, I'm not exactly sure though, and yeah, so, yeah, I believe that this is just a, a painting, because, um, it looks 
too good to be a painting, you know. And they didn't really have color cameras. They didn't color cameras and start being the norm until like 1965. So yeah, and this is like the tenth Doctor Who serial, I think. Not exactly sure about that. I could be wrong. Um, so it's still in black and white. So yeah, on the side here, Doctor Who: Reign of Terror. Um, I already unboxed uh, series. 5 through 7 part 1, and the Doctor Who movie, so yeah, this is adding to my Doctor Who DVD collection, uh, which is very low at the moment, but I should, if I get money, if I get more money this year, which I hopefully will, I'll buy, I'll buy some more uh, Doctor Who DVDs, so yeah, um, so let's take a look at the back, um, well, okay, Doctor Who the Reign of Terror, story number 8, not 10. Okay, I was close, though. Um, right there. Uh, pictures, f uh, stills from the uh, episodes. The description. The special DVD release contains the original episodes 1, 2, 3, and 6, plus brand new animated versions of episodes 4 and 5, currently missing from the BBC archives. Technically, that's not true, because um, clips and stills um, exist for these episodes, but they don't have the full episodes. So, yeah. DVD extras, audio commentaries, um, anything else? Audio commentaries, uh, making ofs, I'm guessing cast interviews or production team interviews, photo galleries, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, okay, William Hartnell, William Russell, and Jacqueline Hill with, and, uh, Carol Ann Ford. And, uh, yeah, transmitted through from August 8th to September 12th, 1964. So, yeah, it's in Dolby Digital. So, yeah, for the audio, it is 4x3, uh, mono, mono. Yeah, mono. Uh, one disc, 148 minutes approximately, uh, black and white, English, uh, SDH, I don't know what that means, but it's for the subtitles, so, uh, yeah, um, and what, what really throws me off is that they didn't produce the, uh, animated versions of the episodes in 16 by 9 widescreen, you know, that's one thing that they could have done, you know, but it probably would have thrown some people off, so, uh, in here you get this, this frickin', uh, recycle case, which is a piece of crap, um, and the Doctor Who, uh, DVD, which is a different, uh, art style than this, although the guillotine is the same and so is this picture, but the William Hartnell picture is different. So yeah, that is the unboxing of this. I'll give you guys a review in a few hours. So comment, rate, subscribe, go to my channel, go to my second channel, follow me on Twitter, link is in the description. I'll see you guys later.